look, let's look at the signs and see what it's supposed to be. Is the other lady gone? Cause she, she, she probably amping him up. Yeah, she probably. Boys coming down this point, automatic doors. Where's the sign for this? Where was that put up? Oh, Jim just told me, she escorted him down there. So he's just walking through. She already told him where the doors are closed, you can't go. When did these signs go up? She just had me put them up. Oh, after he went in? No, before he went in. So he took a picture of the signs and then he opened up the door and walked in. Yeah. And what's back there? Offices? Yeah, people's office spaces, um, people's personal belongings, because you don't, you know, people just don't be back in their workspaces. Is that door supposed to be locked? No, they closed it because he was trying to get down the hallway, and it was like, you don't have an appointment, and who are you here to see? So he closed it. That's when he tried to push me out. Yeah. So, yeah. so they just put uh, signs on here just now. So they're creating restricted areas on the block. You can't do that. Were they up before you went in there? No, they were not. That's why I just told you they were not up. When he went down this time now, they were already posted. Like he just told you, they put up signs after the fact. So, so this is not a public area? It's it when you go for permitting, if you need a permit, if you got a, a meeting with plaques, if you're doing research with records archives, then we come, we get the people, and we bring them back to the area to do their work. That's their policy. That's our policy here. Okay, because so the public lobby is over there. The public lobby is over there and this one over here. And I think Ms. Aker did explain that the doors closed were not public areas. There's a waiting area. There. She had me put these up and so, then he went in after they, he saw they were up and he opened up the door. And so this area is only for people that talk to you over there. Yes. Then you guys escort them. We they call, have meetings. Yeah, they, they already have, have appointments and yeah. stuff. And then we'll call and say, if somebody at the front that want to see you about whatever, and it's their option to help them out here, or if they bring them back here to their mm -hmm. work area and discuss whatever they need with them. Okay. But it's not just for... The public. Right. Okay. So, you guys may be in the future need to lock this door. Okay. Um, where's yours? Where's the supervisor? At? She just went back upstairs. Can you have her come back down? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I don't want to talk. Not until I talk to her. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> so I guess. Debbie, yes. I guess he went back here again. Mm -hmm. So this area is not open to the public. This area is open for business purposes only. After you make an appointment. After you make an appointment, or we have the individuals come out to the front, meet the individuals here, and then if, as they fill out, they need to take them back to complete some paperwork. They can be so, escorted. So no public people, only with business. appointment with business. business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. so other than that, they sit out there. Other than that, they sit They sit here on the other side of the sliding gate doors. Okay. The only time per persons are here is when we have public meetings that are taking place. And then they check in at the front desk and are then given access to this area to wait to be called okay. in for the agenda item for which they're okay. here. So other than that, everybody's on that side? Yes. Okay, give us a minute. That's all we need. So you know, this is business. Does he have business here? Does he have appointment or anything here? No, are you having a, are you having a personal meeting today, a public meeting today? No, we're not. Okay. <laughs> 